am I getting 300 frames right now? Weird. Oh, we're on. We're on. Hey. Huh. Ooh. Can't crouch with the analog. He just kind of moves. Damn, he's got a weird pit boy. What do we got here? Maybe there is English. No, no, there's not English. Okay. Love the aesthetic already. Yeah, dude, it's cool, isn't it? Cool, like bunny, weird steampunky. Like it's got that weird. Everything looks like it's got kanji on it. Here we go. He's got a pretty big telegraph. Yeah, pretty fair telegraph, like that. They've got an overhead too, two moves already. We're already better than Hellblade. <laughs> OTG! Damn! I wonder if you can just frame that. Big fist! <laughs> Yeah, in a post Sekiro world, then they said it couldn't be done. He does have a seemingly a different combo if you delay, because he does two R ones. I did play Strider 2014 sloth. It was a cool game. The emphasis on speed on that game is really nice. Oh, you got a grab. Oh, hang on. I think it's got a cooldown. It does. The dodge has a cooldown. But it seems kind of cool. Can't cancel that, though. Cancel lights with the dodge, but you can't cancel heavies. Heavies too long. You can add. Oh no, you can. You can actually end with it. Interesting. Can't cancel that. No guards so far. I want to dodge as well, which I don't know about that. Might be changing that, but anyway, let's see how this goes. Oh, dude! <laughs> it's a small thing, but I like that. That's sick. Dude, already it's got a little touch. It's making me smile. That was cool. Hang on, he's got a gun. Stop it. Stop it. An OTG. <laughs> Come here, yo! Come here! I can't angle the throw. Oh. Erect. I like the stuff that fly into you. Yeah, I just did that. Game. Come on. Try to keep up. I like the interesting foreground and background relationship. That's kind of cool. This is fur for one and all for fur. Oh my god. Is the rebellion the three musketeers? Muskrat tears? All fur society! The all fur society sure gets around. Very punny. Anything else? Yeah, when Peen turns up, it's gonna be all that dodge offset, isn't it? Oh my god, I pressed it by accident! Fuck, let me leave. I didn't even press X either, I pressed square and it gave it me. Here we go. Ah, oh, the jump is hold specific, okay. Cool. That's like that. What is this? We got we already know the dash. 
Why does he have a gun? Shit. Dude, I want to do more things with the throw. Denied. <laughs> Hang on. Cheating. Shit. Iframes in the grab, I think. Yeah, I do too. I can't be doing with, with gunshots that are too powerful in games. They wind me up. Huh. Obviously something that way, but not yet. That was a slow-ass bullet. It was, dude. I like me some slow-ass bullets. Oh! Fuck. I think I missed something, probably. That is so cool. I like that. It's the small things, guys. Ooh, is that a piggy bank? I think that is. He beat it up! Come here! Oh, oh, I like beating up piggy banks. I like the pacing on this as well. I think the tutorial could have had more like player impetus, but... I like the idea of delivering things slowly and making sure you've got it and, and building the world. There's a lot of character in the world so far, which is nice, just from pure visual design. And puns. Lots of puns. Come on, drop my input. Oh! Charging the, the fist? I got no input just then, at all. I just stood there like a twat. My, your grab is kind of slow too. It's good, but it's slow. Here we go, upgrades. What game is this? It's called Fist. It's a game that now has a demo. And you should try it, because it seems pretty sick. Right, now we can wall run. A wall jump, sorry. Oh, what? Damn! You got loads of these. It's like some Metroid stuff, but it's easy. Yeah, I like the hood as well. The, the HP's... Hang on, fucking L keyboard. Whoops. You can tell I'm not used to having a controller between my legs, right? You beat the shit out of my keyboard, bringing my hands up. <laughs> it's in the right direction, and it looks like Singularity slash uh, Bioshock, doesn't it? Looks like the tracking function is still offline. And he also makes me think of Bucky O'Hare a little bit. Captain Bucky O'Hare. I need to get to the torch tower right away. I guess I'll uh, do this. Oops. Dude, the movement's so simple, but it's nice. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Oh, hang on. Oh, good. Slow, slow moving man. Come here, you. Can I do an air grab? Oh, no. Fuck, I, I forgot. Come here, you. Oh, it feels good, though. It's got a nice feel to the platforming where it, it feels like it should. And I think that's such a good thing, you know, when a mechanic feels like you expect it to feel, and then it does. It's super satisfying. Yeah, me too, Nam. At the moment, there's there's not much I can really do at all, but it's still early. Captain Bucky over. Yeah, just then I... Ooh, I tried to, I tried to charge my fist, and it didn't work. Can I buffer that? It cancels it, interesting. I do think there's a just frame there, because it does look faster, right? It definitely feels faster. Should probably try that other way. It might be something that way. This is running unlocked at 300 FPS as well. I need to change that. <laughs> there's no need. It already feels very... Can you fuck off with this shit? Get out of my way. Where is the thing? 
My GPU is fine, dude. It's just I don't I don't really see a point unless I need like super responsive inputs in letting my GPU do what it wants and have have too much fun. So Revertune is going to sort that hopefully. Um, did I check that way? I forgot already. Dude, I love the background and the foreground. Ooh. Okay, fair dues. This game seems cool, but the Metroidvania genre is so saturated. Hopefully it has something unique mechanically. Well, you see, this is where I'm unique here, Cosmic, because I don't play Metroidvanias. Because I find them fucking annoying. So, for me, there's a there's a bit of a charm to this because it's a genre I stay away from. But I too hope that it does have more than just standard stuff. What is that? Oh. Right. I'm gonna grab your ass, bitch. You done fucked up, son! Can I, like... Any fiddly jumping I can do? I don't think so. What do you find annoying about Metroidvanias? All of it, dude. I hate them. I've always hated them. Stems from Castlevania on the, the Game Boy. Castlevania on the Game Boy was so fucking hard. I spent so long running around maps, literally doing this, running into walls, attacking walls the whole game. This is what I did. Hours. Hundreds and hundreds of hours before the internet existed for me. I would run around trying to get all the parts of the castle, hitting walls, never finding anything, hating my fucking life, and then dying and losing progress because I forget to save. And it's just embedded in me uh, an absolute dislike and complete and utter distaste in the genre. I also don't like that they don't let you block. They generally don't have interesting parries, and when they do, the parries are way too broken and they solemnize the whole game. I hate that they never take on fundamentals of two-dimensional fighting game mechanics to give you awesome combos and juggles and sick moves. It's always just like Metroid or Castlevania, and that to me is not enough anymore. I played it too much. Like, I've, I had, between Circle of the Moon, like, Aria of Sorrow, and Harmony of Dis... dis, dis what is that? Like... Something of dissonance, harmony of dissonance. Like, between all those things, it's just... I put too much time into them and I lost the love for it. It's the same thing with platformers. It's the same thing with, with a lot of games. I have no patience for, for 2D until, unless they do something interesting. And uh, this game might be the same, but at the moment, I like the world. And if I like the world, there's a bit more there for me. Oh, no, no, only I like to Bloodstained. I thought Bloodstained was great because it did things with the camera. Like, I thought that was really cool, but my fatigue for that genre is its hard to play for me. Like, somebody gave me... What's that, uh... You know the Castlevania by Hideo Kojima, the bad one? The fucking Book of Shadows, or whatever it's bloody called. The one with Robert Carlyle. Train spotting Castlevania, remember those ones? There was a 2D train spotting Castlevania that somebody gave me a key for, for free. They were like, Chris, this series is great, play this, you'll love it. And I played it for about 10 minutes, got bored, turned it off, uninstalled it, never touched it again. Whoops. Because it just wasn't for me. And I felt really bad about that because that guy was kind enough to hook me up with this awesome game and I put it on and all of my loathing for the for this genre came back to me in one fell swoop and I felt like a, an entitled asshole. It was a horrible experience. And the game seemed absolutely fine. I just, I did not have the, the brain for it. But that was a long time ago. That was like seven years ago now. So now, or maybe five years. Now I might have a bit more patience for it and I might be a bit more in the right mind. But I just, they're not for me anymore, you know? It's sad, but it, it is. Like I want, I want a game like this to be like Street Fighter, you know? I want the, the plus frames and the blocking. I like the frame traps. I want to be able to, to get a combo, do a hit confirm, and then do like a sick juggle into a special cancel, into a super cancel. I want complexity. I want quarter circle motions. I want sick stuff. And a lot of the games are just attack, move away, attack, move away, attack, move away. And, and that to me is just, I'm not interested. 
looks kind of soft in the background, but I love the idea of it. Does anybody get like a Midgar vibe from that early? Can I use my mouse? No, I can't. That f that background, that middle ground area with the pipes, that gives me a very like slum, slum Midgar feel. You know the the base you go back to after you do the first bombing, and you you you're with Avalanche and everything. It reminds me of that location for some reason. Doesn't everybody like Ori? I've heard good things about Ori, but. It's, it's like Hollow Knight. I tried Hollow Knight and I hated it. And I know that Hollow Knight is amazing and it's responsive and it's great and it's difficult and it's it's like got super mastery to it and all that stuff, but I got bored before I'd even found an enemy to kill. It just, it's not for me. What is this? What button is this? Fucking hell. East Side News Report. Can I use this? Doesn't seem like I can. Hollow Knight, on the other hand, was the ship for me. Yeah, people love Hollow Knight, dude. It gets a lot of people really excited. It brings out a lot of elitism, though, because apparently it's, it's the hardest game in the world, and the people that play it well know it. So they want to tell you all the time. And I'm not a big fan of communities that are like that. I just don't think there's a need. Hang on. Ah, that's cool. I refuse to play Hollow Knight simply because of the toxic community. Oh, really, dude? That's a terrible reason not to play a game. Fuck that noise. Look at Sub-Zero now! That makes sense. Have you ever played the, the updated Odin Sphere? Uh, I played Odin Sphere on the PS2, dude. I played it on PS2 at a friend's house. I didn't play the light... Light Sveishten Schneiserwischnischneistischer? I didn't play that one. Whatever it was called. Which I'm assuming you're, you're mentioning. But apparently there's a brawler. There's a brawler that's called like Fighting Rage. Fighting around the world or something. And it has it has the interesting parries and, 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 and combos and juggles and straight up like Guilty Gear style. Marvel style combos. So I'm probably going to try that out just to see what that's like. Because that sounds kind of interesting to me. It wants me to go that way so I'm going to go this way. It's the Aris reason. Everyone is a bigot. I do have it on my backlog and will eventually visit it. Everyone is a bigot. Is that what he says? An interesting perspective, I guess. I suppose that's coming from the perspective of being known on the internet as a, a bigot of video games, right? I, don't, I wonder if he talks about that on his stream ever. <laughs> or if that's just a coffin. Whoa, the guy's the best. <gasps> you can't dodge through. Oh, no. That wasn't good. Never mind. Kicked his ass anyway. Got back up and whooped him. I think Ori has the best 2D movement system ever. I think that game looks amazing and the soundtrack's really nice, but I've not really given it a chance because everyone tells me it's really, really difficult and I look at it and I just think, oh, platforming. He dropped my input then. I don't even think it read my input. Yeah, the knockdown seems like you, when you glow, they expect you to do something, but I don't know what they expect me to do. There might be a, a quick recover or something, and I'm not doing it. But I'm curious of what, what is expected of me there. Odin Sphere is mad cool. Odin Sphere has got the best visuals of almost any PS2 game when it comes for 2D. It's got such a great style. But I, I don't like that, that Dragon Crown, Odin Sphere kind of gameplay loop. It's just... It's kind of a brawler, isn't it? It's a sophisticated, beautiful brawler, but it goes on and on and on, and I got really bored of it. No way it controls better than Meat Boy? Yeah, Meat Boy's controls are tight, aren't they? Everybody says that. I don't know, though. I don't play those games. All this bad such stuff from Blizzard is going to stop me from playing Diablo 2. Oh, really, Sloth? You're going to take a stand? Good for you, dude. I respect the hell out of that. I take stands all the time. I'm about to take a stand against Back for Blood. Fucking Warner Brothers. Find where you are and piss in your eyes. And by piss in your eyes, I mean shake your hand and say, I, I love your company, you're nice people. Are you listening, Twitch? Don't you dare ban me. It was a joke. I ain't Wings of Redemption. Hard disagreeing, them not mentioning uh, Boyzone has Boyzone. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultimate Meat Boy sequel, Boyzone Edition. Now with great music. <laughs> Fucking Boyzone. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, shout out to anybody that remembers that shitty bond. <laughs> no matter who you... I don't remember. What the fuck? That was terrible. All right, here we go. Was that them or was that Westlife? I don't remember. I hate it all. All right, here we go. Let's do some stuff. Give me some skills. Yeah, Boyzone is my favorite. Ooh! Ooh! This could be good. Whirlwind Punch, Pulverize, and Uppercut. Can I buy them all? Kind of want to buy them all. Oh, it's a command input! And then you can air combo! Dude, I need to cheat my money. Can I cheat my money? <laughs> Make sure the devs aren't watching. I need everything. I need it all. I need it immediately. Right, I need this. Let me try and see if we can find it. And before I get, like, vac banned. <laughs> you got vac banned, son! I didn't do anything! Right, here we go. Give me that. Is there anything more tedious than going through fucking cheat engine code? <laughs> I hate it so much. We'll give us 69. The best number, right? Just uh, talk amongst yourself, guys. <laughs> I kind of want to buy them all, is all. One hundred and eighty-six. What? What? Good. Bum, bum, bum. 104? What is this? No? That's a big number. Excuse me. Dude, I'm getting all the gas right now. It's like my uh, filthy cheating ways are coming back to haunt me. It's the cheater dump. It's in my body. I'm not seeing shit. This might be a more complicated calculation. Yeah, never mind. I did a quick perusal, didn't see shit. Right, let's see what this is anyway. So this is a, oh, it's a combo. XXY. Inflict medium damage. And then this one is XXXXY. And look, it even does a bit of hit stun at the end. And you might be able to do something after that, like dash into a, an ender. Look how many there is as well. This could have a good uh, skill tree. Huh. Pretty cool. What does repair do? Does that heal me? I thought DS on 360 new and remaster release. I bought off a friend so they didn't give a cent to that money. <laughs> Oh, from Blizzard, D3. It's a shame that that shit's come out. It really is. And I don't mean that as in like, oh, we we got caught, guys. We got caught. Fuck. We're going to have to do it somewhere else. No, fuck that noise. It, it's just horrible. It's horrible that that stuff happens. And I wish it, I just wish it didn't. Maybe I'm too simple and too naive, but to me, there's just no reason for it. It's just grim. Okay, we got, we got a map. On our little pit boy thing. Seems like we're in the right way. Or we're going the right way, I should say. Ooh, is this the the I think it's Chinese, right? Either that or I'm a racist. I think this is where you're gonna do maybe suit upgrades or body upgrades. That seems crazy. This is Chinese. Yes, I thought it was. Thank you. 
Like, I'm not a total brute, but I just didn't want to be that guy that's like, I love the Korean language, it's just so musical! And then somebody comes in and, and gets very offended. Not that I care, but I kind of do care, because it's, you know... It's nice to have some representation of a, a different culture and different language sometimes. Hey. Oh, no move! What did I buy? I forgot. It's open V, isn't it? Shit! Come here, you. Okay. We can do an air grab as well. I want to try that. Hang on. It's like those moves, you know, in Smash where you barely jump. You do those, like, hops. Can't wait for Wukong five years from now. Yeah, and it looks nothing like that game they sold us. It's gonna be sick, right? Oh, I always hate this, because you never know if you go in the right place. See, I just triggered a fucking cutscene. That's probably important. I didn't catch the scope. Surprise, cut face! Hang on. Dude, hit me in midair, you bitch! Get over here. No! That was a straight bitch. Is that all that was? A cutscene level? Cutscene place? Can I do those upgrades at any time? Huh. Interesting, you can cycle through weapons. I just don't have any. You can carry three weapons at the same time with the looks of that. Shit. Come on, come on. Come on, you idiot! Kill me! Right here! Dude, I'm so hungry today. I don't know why I'm so hungry. I'd have to jump. Whoops. <gasps> Oops. I need to get my hands on the transformer drill to climb the torch tower. Better head back and find someone who knows. I bet it's that drunk guy. Gotta be that drunk guy. What are you playing at the moment? Anyhow, Sloth, you're still on the, the ninja guiding kick. The godfather altar of worship. I'm drinking, you shitter! Fucking hell! You don't have my hand on the controller! Bitch! Well. Shit. Man can't even have a beverage in peace. I'm gonna do a bit of SF5 today and learn a less squishier character. Are you getting sick of bleeding with Akuma? If you want to run any set sloth, by the way, uh, feel free to message me because I've downloaded it now. So I might be able to, to tickle your anus a bit. Same goes for anybody else, if you want to run some sets. Like, if I'm not sweating my balls off or busy, I'll, I'll jump on. Want a bottle? Play with Joy, you can for a bit yesterday. How did that go, Nem? Did you have a good time? Did you land any more crush counters into actual moves? Which you did on your very first game you showed me, which I thought was kind of interesting. I haven't touched Street Fighter V in a while. Yeah, me too, dude. And I never really touched it. And I can't even do a basic fucking air Tatsu combo, and it really pisses me off. I'd rather do a one-frame link than that Tatsu combo, because I just can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong either, which is the worst part. And the outfit I want to wear, I have to buy for five quid, and I'm procrastinating and pissed off. <laughs> I blame my autism. 
They were extremely close matches. It was fun. Who is uh, sure you can play in, dude? Do you know? I, I'm assuming you know. He plays Ryu, really? Interesting. Did that kill it? Dude, the executions hurt other enemies. They've got AoEs. Yeah, Ryu versus Ken, dude. It's the classic, isn't it? Have you started using your V-Trigger yet, Nem? Because V-Trigger is essentially just burst. It's just different properties and different reasons to do so. And you can also use it to chain, uh, like, hit confirm things off a counter hit. You can also use it to make, like, heavy sweeps safe. I wish I could capture fucking Street Fighter V because we could talk about this with the visuals. But unfortunately, I just can't record that gate. Is this boss? It's a blue guy. Is he going to get squashed by something bigger? That's what I would have done. He comes like, I'm going to kick your ass. And he goes forward and then the boss squashes him. And then you're fighting like a big boss thing. Oh, shit. Why does it do that? Oh, this is interesting, too. It's like a gauntlet. I'm getting bombed. I don't like how you clip on them on the ground. Yeah, clipping on them on the ground is lame as fuck. Don't like it at all. Something to adjust to, though. I was trying to move to the left and I couldn't do it because he was, he was just laid out. You also tried the other ones? Oh, yeah. Have you figured out what V-Skill and V-Trigger you want to use? Because the one I use, I do it because of Sako combos, but then I can't do the fucking Sako combos. <laughs> so I should really use the other one because it's like a focus attack, and I like focus attacks. Hang on. But I don't know about you guys, I get so demoralized on fighting games when I can't do combos that I know aren't difficult. Like, I can do the hard shit, I can't do the, the, the easy shit sometimes, and it really saddens me. And it, it puts me off worse than losing. Here we go. Give me something cool. I want a good combo. I want to pulverize, I think. That does medium damage. That does small damage. Why would I not want to unlock a skill? What do you think I am? Oh, wow, that's 500. That's 200. First year or so of Street Fighter V left such a bad taste in my mouth. Well, the first year of Street Fighter V was horrible, dude. It was barely a game with barely anything to do. There's nothing redeeming in it. However, now the game has changed and they've added a lot more execution to it, which makes it a lot more interesting for a player like me. And the combos that you can do with Kage, which I can't do, but can be done, I should say, are the thing that give me hope. Because it's the shit that I want to do, you know? But I need, I need like, desk to teach me because I, I just don't understand how you link the EX Tatsu. It never works for me. If I do it any sooner, it doesn't come out, which tells me that I did it too soon. And if I do it any later, it whiffs. So I don't know how tight the window is, but I, I must be doing something wrong because that's the reality, isn't it? Oh, shit! Dude, the moment the freeze stun on the enemy stops and they fly back, you can chase them down with the dash cancel. Very responsive. Hi, hum. <laughs> Dude, that was so stupid. Just like jabbed him and it landed and I didn't think it would. <laughs> Punch. <laughs> That was funny. I like this game, dude. I didn't think I was gonna. But so far, it's it's quite mellow and it's not giving us too much at the moment because it's definitely holding its cards close to its chest, but I like what it's doing. Like, I think I'm gonna have fun with this. And it's hard to say that nowadays because you never know, do you? Howdy, fairy, welcome. I'd rather grind Blazblue. Well, the thing here, dude, is no one here wants to play Street Fighter V be under the right in, in the right understanding, right? No one here wants to play Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V is garbage, right? 
However, everyone else is playing Street Fighter V. So if you play it now, you have five or six people in my community to play it with, maybe more. That's why people are playing Street Fighter V. It's not because it's a good game. It's not because they like it. It's because that's where people are. And it breaks my fucking heart because Street Fighter IV is better in every conceivable way. But no one's playing that, you know? That's why people are, are talking because that's where the, the competition is, you know? None of us want to play that pile of shit, dude. Fucking sucks. But when your friends say, oh, we're all playing this game, you play it, don't you? And that's where we are at the moment. I can't... Did you see that? There was an invisible wall. Oh, that was weird. And don't get me wrong, guys. When you're playing the game, it is fun, but it's not a great fighting game. Is this good? Yeah, Maga. I'm really surprised. It's It's got some chops. I'm, I'm liking it. Joe was right. Joe nailed it on this one. I think he was the one that mentioned it. <laughs> Dude, this language sounds so fucking awesome, but you know that if you if you say it even remotely wrong, you're saying something completely else because it's all in the pronunciation. That was a lot of words for I see. Got one or two guys. Yeah, we've got Strive at the moment. We've got that weird thing where Nemesis was using a crab arm, a crab arm fighting game with weird range. How did Joe find it? It was at E3, dude. It was shown. It's been shown a few times, and I think he just saw it and thought it looked cool. And I was asking you guys, what game do you think looks cool? We'll watch some videos for it when we were watching gameplay, and Joe said this one. And we watched it, and we saw the combos, and we thought it looked cool. But that was a while ago now. And I, I saw a trailer on YouTube last night, and I checked on Steam to see if there was a demo, and there was. What will happen there though, Nem, is it's not that cool yet, but you know if you start getting into it and you adjust to it, you'll start thinking it's a lot cooler, because I think everyone's a bit reticent. Does that hold? What am I trying to do here? Am I doing this to a dude? Oh, here we go. He's teaching me combos, and I've got a combo dummy, that's cool. Hang on, he wants me to do an ender. Dude, a training dummy and something like this is mad sick. I want training dummies in everything. I want training dummies in solitaire. Is he gonna give me stuff now? <laughs> Melty blood, yeah, that's what he called. Melty blood, isn't it? Unbalanced Melty blood. Gonna teach us his power punch. So it's just a minor trick. Data discs. Metal gear. Street Fighter 5 is 40 gig download? Yeah, dude, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to download it the other day. I was mad annoyed because I was watching fucking Nen's stream. And I had to put his stream on like 120p. I felt like peeing. It was like he was calling to me from the afterlife, but it was just low quality audio because it was on such low bandwidth. Well, there's a lot more in it now, Tygon. There's a. Did he tell me what input it was? I wasn't paying attention. Power punch. Do I have a moves list? Maybe it's context sensitive. <laughs> I like how he plays with the machine, that's funny. I wonder how good Auro is going to be. Do you think Auro... Break the floor with up and right? I don't even have that move. <laughs> Rough. Because if Auro is not a charge character, I might try him. Might buy his ass. Because I've always wanted to play Auro, but... In this game, he doesn't have his arm in a sleeve, it doesn't seem like. I think he's holding a turtle, which is weird. Do 
I tend shoot. to compare every fighting game to Soul Calibur 6 now. Right, here we go. He's going to shoot me, isn't he? Hold X. Dude, you can move while you do this. I wish I could throw him in a direction I want to throw him. Yeah, I get it, game. That's insane that you can charge this while you move. I wonder if it's good. Like, this would have been one of those where you can't move in most games. But in this game, I'm doing everything just by holding square. You can smash shields and shatter plates. Okay. I wonder if you can... <laughs> Fuck the police! <laughs> yeah, you get through those doors with it. I just love how easy that is to do. On some games, that would be the most tightest thing ever. And in this, it's just... Have fun with it. And sometimes it's nice to have tightness. Sometimes... It's okay for it to be flexible and easier. Hi, guys. That hit me. Shit. Get up, cock. Big bitch. Have I been up here? I don't even know. I know there's a door down there I can go. No, I'm not. Did you play a lot of Soul Calibur 6, dude? I don't know if I've even played that one. I was more of a, a Soul Blade guy in Soul Calibur 2. I keep trying to double jump, even though the game's telling me that that's not the thing you should be doing. Ooh, is that a HP upgrade? Dude, that reminds me of Jet Force Gemini, that. Surprise, got this! What? Racism! That's up. Yeah, you can. You can recover on that. That's what it's trying to tell you. The cancel ability are a lot of stuff. I'm standing here and eating it and shit, and you don't have to. It's kind of like God Hand, where you do so many things without thinking to just up dodge them at the end, and you're standing there just waiting and waiting, and you don't have to wait. It's your turn if you want it to be. Hang on, falling down holes and shit. Not as much as I would have wanted to, but nobody else was playing it. Dude, story of my fighting game career right there. I'm the guy that's not very good at doing fucking random one and done bullshit online. Hang on. You get. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Gamer tip! <laughs> Dreamcast guy all over again. Let's go down, gamers. Tip video here. Oh, this is interesting. Can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. I need like a fancy jump. Hmm. I still d forgot how Nem one and done me. Yeah, dude, one and done is. I got one and done so much in Street Fighter 4 by like Mexican Vegas and shit, it did my head in. And there was only one time I got to play, I think five times with a guy, and it was a French dude who played Balrog and he was just as new as I was. And I got to practice block strings on him because he blocks so much. And obviously in those moments, you want to you wanna throw them, don't you? You want to SPD because that's what you should do when somebody blocks too much. But I, I just didn't want to. I wanted to practice hitting on him and seeing what he was doing. Because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to apply pressure. I understood frame traps and I understood what buttons I should be pressing, but I didn't know what it felt like to land them and do them and, and get that feeling for it. Because I think that the feeling of doing something is, is one of those things that could be very difficult to actually truly get until you do it, you know? It can be easy to think you get it and then you don't because you're not, you didn't feel it. Can 
Can I get up there? Oh, right, lock me in. Shit. Is this important? But like that, because there's a sound as well. You know, when you do a good block string where you know they can't press a button and then you, you leave a space so you, that you can get them if they do. Like, you know that sound of that block, that ding, 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 whatever the sound is in the game. You, you get an ear for when you're hitting it and you know you're not leaving gaps. You get a you get an ear for when you're hitting it and you know you are and somebody's probably going to DP through it. Even though you're not going to get that in Street Fighter V because there's no invincibility on DPs, right? In that, you're going to leave a gap and you're going to get Kami's jab mashed or someone else's jab mashed because everybody loves mashing jab in that game for some reason. It's like fucking CVS 2 all over again. Oh no, CVS 1, sorry, wasn't it? Guys, which CVS was it where jab was the best button in the game? Was it one? I think it was one. You can get even extra range with that charge punch in midair. So now we've got a double jump, we should be able to do that, right? Well, this guy's fast! Oh, you can't do that then. You gotta jump it, I guess. Shit. Yo, dog, what's going on? Wait, oh, stunned him. Can I grab him? Pressing the wrong buttons. I'm brain fighting. He guards. Oh, what if you can guard break him? He's gonna do it here as he fire his fist. Seems kinda set that. Can I interrupt? Nope! <laughs> the game's like, you think you could stop me, son? You done fucked up. Yeah, it's a great feeling finding somebody on your level, MAGA. It's one of the things that I think that, unless you've felt it, you just don't get it. And especially in fighting games, because in fighting games, it's so easy to find people better than you. And when someone's better than you, it's almost like they're cheating. It doesn't even feel like you're playing a two-player game. It feels like you're just trying to block and trying to survive and never playing. Because you hold down back, don't you? You hold down back, they throw a few jabs, they walk up and throw you, and then you get paranoid about the throw that you press something, and then they do a hit string on you, and then you're in the corner, and then it's just nothing but rush down. And you don't know what to do. And most people will just DP, because it's the scrubby technique, especially online, DP get out of trouble, right? Whoa, 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 am I playing? What is happening? Game! Let me do shit! Fucking game! I thought it was a cutscene, he was walking on his own! Hang on. But the controller died. But like most people will just try and use whatever's invincible and, and DP through stuff. And and I said from day one, even when I was on LAN against people, I said to a guy next to me that if I got into trouble, I'm not going to DP like a scrub. And I didn't. And I took a bunch of losses where I could have done it because I wanted to learn how to fight my way out of the corner without it. Because it's not who I wanted to be. And I fought against that guy. He was a ruthless man. I fought against him a bunch. Do you know the first time I had him in the corner, guys, and I put pressure on him? Guess what he fucking did? Take a guess what he did the first time I put him in the corner. Can you do this? I don't know if you can even do this. No, he didn't rage quit, Ferry. He couldn't rage quit. He sat next to me. First thing he did, he fucking EXDP'd. Soon as I started putting block pressure on him, he just DP'd me. And the best part is, he was sat next to me with a controller, and I could hear this. And it's the best feeling in the world, guys, when you hear somebody doing that when they're blocking, because you know, you all know, guys, what they're fucking doing. Mashed the shit out of it, he did. I nearly fell out of my chair. And I still lost, but that was a moral victory for me that day, because I never once did it. And I knew everyone did it. And I just wrecked my controller then. Oops. It was worth it for the sound effect. Yeah, we're back, we're back. But that's the first thing he did. It was so funny. And he was better than me, but he wasn't a good player. He just had time and experience, and I didn't have those things. Like, if I'd have had anything close to him, I would have destroyed him. But he destroyed me instead. That was cheeky. Hang on. I don't want to restore my health game. 
I don't like them when they're on the ground because they're hard to hit. Does this give you life back? I don't think it does. See how the healing works in the checkpoints. Hopefully they're not too bad. That was bad. I don't understand how that worked. Oh, I traded with that. I, I released my charge punch on him and it didn't do anything. I think he broke my armor. Uh, is that where you start from? Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's so effective online, though, Furry, because it works, you know. In Street Fighter V, nothing had invincibility. So waking up in that game was tricky as hell. Now, I don't really know the same. I still don't think it works that way because you don't see people doing it. You see people still trying it, but meaties are so strong in that game that you never know. Dude, these checkpoints fucking suck. I hope that's not in the main game. I thought I was closer than I was then. I'm actually miles away. Sick. Sick. But it's easy to be a scrub in a fighting game, but you don't learn anything. So you can, you can scrub a few rounds or scrub a few games by doing those techniques. But you know, if you come against somebody that knows exactly what to do to them, you've learnt nothing. And that's where I always fell from on that perspective. Like, don't get me wrong, when it gets down to it, sometimes you're just going to fall into old habits, because everybody kind of does. But I, I wanted to try not to be that for as much as I could, just so I could at least feel like I was winning and losing for the right reasons, but... Some people just care so much about winning in games, they don't care how they win. And that's just a different mentality you're going to come across, you know? Okay. Oh shit! I read chat! Come on! You fucking ass game! As soon as I stood on it, I thought it was going to move like an auto-scroller. And <laughs> he just dumped me. <laughs> Ow. I'm terrible at fighting games. Yeah, me too, Fairy, but they're really fun, especially when you play them with friends. Because the thing with fighting games that is the saddest part is that you never play them long enough to get to the fighting game. You're still tripping up over the inputs and the controls and the combos and what should I do here, what should I do there, what's my best button, what's this, what's that. You never get to the fighting game, which is, what is he going to do? What am I going to do to stop it? What am I going to do to make him think I'm going to do this and he's going to do that, but I want him to do that and he thinks I don't and then I'm going to do this. You never get to the mental game, which is the best part. It's the best part of fighting games, it's what makes them endless. The conditioning. The habits, you know, the, the responses, the reactions, the reads, all of that stuff is where fighting games really come alive. And no one gets there, because they're too busy like, what's the best combo? Okay, here's the best combo. How are you going to land it? Oh, I'm going to jump in. But what if you can't jump in? What if they won't let you jump in? Oh, I guess I'll never land it then. Well, what's the point of being able to do it if you can never do it in a game? You know, it's like, what first thing people do, oh, I'm going to jump in. Jump in, do my big heavy hit, and then do my combo that I've practiced. Well, guess what? I'm not going to let you do that. What do you do now? And it's just a, it's a different thing. And that's why a shitty character can beat the best character in the game, because it's, at certain points, it's about the people playing, you know? It's not about the, the character you pick. It's not every character's the same, it's just some of them look different. It's... It's the mind games, it's the... It's the fun. I'm kind of confused where it wants me to go here. It wants me to go over there. Right. This way. Mash until stun. Dude, stun in Street Fighter V is so lethal. It's really dangerous. You suck too, Striker? It's all good, dude. Many people suck. It's par for the course. Have a good one, hobo. Right, is this is this the right place? Yeah, if we get to the top of this, we're in the right place. I think it's just how in fighting games you need to react and also properly time inputs, execute strings of inputs in order to properly 
Well, that stuff comes af after repetition, that, very. You can't worry about all that stuff because it's the type of thing that you grind to the point where you don't think about it. Like, do you think about what you're doing in your speedruns when you've done them so many times and your hands just kind of do it and it's all comfortable because you're so rehearsed? Fighting games are the exact same. The difference being is, you see a jump, you do an anti-air. You see an awkward jump, you do a different anti-air, you know? You do what you see a jump, you do your anti-air, he dive kicks, he alters his range, and then he punishes you on whiff punish because you you took the bait, and then you're playing fighting games, you know? The best part of fighting games is when you get to the point where you're not thinking about what you're pressing, you're thinking about why you're pressing it. But once again, it's... This is a hard game to play on this analog, I keep attacking the wrong direction. I like that you can freely turn though. Definitely gives it a, a sense of shit. You can't do what I tried to do then. This guy's OTG in the shit out of me. I'm not using your fucking stupid carrot juice. Suck my cock and carrot juice my balls. Can I charge a punch and shoot and hit you through the wall, sir? Oof, big hit. Why couldn't this just have room to room checkpoints? Remember those games? Those games were fun, weren't they? No, you didn't have to like retread fucking 400 steps for no reason other than just because. Oh wow, I can't do that one. But yeah, can you imagine how sick this game's gonna be once you get all the stuff? Different weapons, different combos. Like, I hope there's a guard, like a guarding weapon. I like the idea of being able to block and doing fun things on block. I think this is correct. Is this not correct? Oh, here we go. Use their strength against them, this data disc and machine will help you master it more quickly. Oh, rising punch so we can get through that thing, right? Ow, just hit my hand on my desk. Oh wow, dude, you've got <laughs> you've got meter in this game. And it's a DP. A EXDP. There's your spike. There's a launch combo, like Ninja Gaiden, that puts you into the air. There's your spike with meter. Howdy, Joker. Welcome, dude. Yeah, look, there's an ender on that one. Now it's a full string. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, this game could be sick. This is only one weapon, too. Maybe each of the weapons have all this complexity. Howdy, Sigma. Welcome. New emote? Well, for you, maybe. For me, not so much. I need to go in on that image and highlight his hand a bit better so it, it shows out. On the picture that I made, it looks fine, but on, on stream, it doesn't look as good. It's still a sick face, though. That Vash face is one of the best. <laughs> Welcome to Jingle Shop. 20% off, damn. Like a steam sale. All of these great prices, 20% off. Now it's only 90 quid. Oh, Sounds so cool. Can I buy? My god, extract. Don't put that in your food, dude. Shit's mad strong. What is this? I have no idea what any of this means, but it sounds interesting. What do the plant seeds do? 
some kind of collectible or something. Badoos. Can you go? Not quite. Cancels it. Oh, I've got I've got no meter? Oh no, it's in midair, isn't it? My bad. Is it in midair? Can you only do it? I don't know. No idea. This dude's doing strags! <laughs> Fucking Tenet combos. Best. Best part of any video right there. Dude, the, the huge fist thing in this, it reminds me of Wonderful 101 so much. It's definitely earning points because it's kind of tickling my Wonderful 101 fancy. Rip the PC port once again. Just need Sean now. What's wrong with the PC port? It's perfect. Okay, Sean. I'll let you have that one. I'm just going to lay over here and die. Die in a corner. Hang on. Hang on here. Is it hurting me? Oh no, it's just because I'm dying because I don't heal. But apparently the game is kind of stingy on the heals and the checkpoints, which is not my favourite thing. What is going on there? I don't know. Dude's doing strings! Oh, here we go. We got a cut. Ooh! A tasty female... female cat person. Oh. Dude, she looks sick. She's like Falco! Oh, you get to play as her. Dude, they give you a big slice of this, didn't they? It makes me wonder how big this game is, if they're going to let me play for this long in a demo. This is a super long demo. Hang on. Brad's got face. Oh. Like, this is not even the game, unless they accidentally left the whole game in, which... <laughs> Come on, China. China number one. I don't think it is, though. Hang on. Ah! Fucked up. Hang on. What is that? I think I didn't see you, friend. I saw you. I'll see him. I'll see him. Yeah, but guys, if there was anybody not here earlier when I was talking about it, uh, we're on about doing a, a fun party game private server for bad business which is going to involve playing TIG and hide and seek and all kinds of stupid games we can come up with. And if you're interested in that, I'm going to be testing it to see how it runs, potentially off stream, maybe on stream, depending on how many people are interested. And in order to do that, you have to make a Roblox account. And I know that sounds terrifying. And why would you do that? Roblox is for children and horrible. Uh, but I promise you, it only takes about five minutes. And the only system it's not available on is PlayStation, which is unfortunate because most of my community are on PlayStation. But if that sounds like a cool idea and you want to be a part of it, then feel free to do so and let me know. Yeah, you can't hurt them on the ground. You see that? I interrupted him during his string. You can grab them on the ground, though. You're, you're invincible when you do that grab, it seems. Whoa, he's got a shotgun. There's no reason not to grab if it's going to be such a cunt on the floor. I'll do that. Do the ground hit. Yeah, I know you are, Nem. And you you were the first, dude. You're always uh, eager and awesome. And I'm really, really grateful for you for that, dude. It's just I put it over... Over the weekend on the arranged multiplayer thread on my Discord, and no one uses the thread. No one even responded or even looked like they'd seen it, so... I feel like it was just a bad job on my part of advertising it. Because if anybody had responded to it, I would have made a server immediately and we could have jumped on and tested some of it. 
别逼，别吓唬自个儿。邪恶那几个弟兄，不就仗着快和大，才在老大哪管？我是开回来爆炸呀！你当发电站是什么地方 ？OK。Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't like doing that at everybody. As soon as those trolls came into my Discord and taught me what that was, I turned it off. I just turned it straight off. Like for me, when I want to do things with you guys, I want you to want to do them. I don't want to have to pull your leg. I don't want to have to chase you down. It's a bit like the the results for the creative writing. You know, most people have been really forthcoming with it because they're excited to see who won and to see what's going on. But there are some people that are, are just busy or have forgot, and. It's one of those things where I'm, I'm not going to chase them down for for any amount of time. I'm just going to discount your, your vote and remove you. <laughs> it's going to be that simple. Like, if you didn't vote, you lost the opportunity to, to hedge it, and you might have won. And now you could lose because of it, and it's on you. But I can't make people interested in things because it's up to them. Oh, this guy does, does not want me to... Interesting. Don't do that. I keep pressing circle to dodge. Ooh, a checkpoint! Ooh, that makes me feel a lot better. And you like... I want to try something. Ah. Oh, I'm going to get you, bitch. Shit. Shit. <laughs> it's got so much... Oh, I can't. Maybe I can do like a... I didn't mean to do that. Because it takes me to... I keep forgetting I've got it. Shit! I want to die now and try that again! No! <laughs> I keep forgetting about my meter! I'm trying to do moves and they're not working. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You got no meter, son! My friend, boy. You made an account just now? Awesome, Tygon. Thank you, dude. Oh, did you see that? Shit. I hate that Dark Souls 2 bullshit. But that's at least three of us for testing, and you're... We've got a Slovakian and a, a Finlandian, right? So that should hopefully stress it a little bit. And Cosmo earlier was mentioning that he was going to try and get it on console, so that could be cool if we could get an Xbox guy in. Test how that connects. Test how the aim assist is for him. Because unfortunately, if you're on console, guys, you're going to be capped at 60. And I don't think there's a way around it, because, you know, consoles get fucked. Which sucks, but... What can you do? Build a PC, right? Easy life. This is kind of cool. This reminds me of Castlevania with the obsession with clock towers in those games. You made one as well, Maggot? Awesome. Thank you for taking the time, even if you don't get to play. It's still cool. But it means, it means a lot to me that you're willing to try something, because I know it's not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Building a PC right now would not lead to such an easy life. Yeah, that is true, isn't it? Unless you buy a pre-build that comes with a ridiculous graphics card for a wonderfully marked up price. I wonder if I can get anything cool. Down and Y for 400. Down and X for 200. I want to try this. Hang on. Not enough data discs. Damn, I need a cassette. Shit. I can't get that one. You need a fancy cassette. 
I need a Tony Hawk's tape. So it means I'm gonna go with this. Until I get a tape. I also have an account, not sh Yeah, but you had one before, didn't you, Best West? You've been on- you've actually played Bad Business. I don't have to pull your leg. The cool thing is, though, is you are- you're American, right? So we can test an American connection to where we'll be. So that's- that'll be important. But you also have a family, you know? You're- you're a responsible adult. <laughs> and I don't want to pull you away from anything too important. Oh, nice. He's reloading. He's got a big counter right, though. Ooh, he aimbotted the shit out of me then. Oh, he did it again, and I saw it, and I couldn't do shit. Oh. That tracking is mean. These checkpoints seem a bit better now that we're getting into the meat of it. He says that and immediately gets a checkpoint he's confused with. Oh, there we go. What a fucking pointless room. Delete that room, it sucks ass. Yeah, I need to be careful jumping. I'm making it even harder for myself. I hate the idea of waiting for him to reload, it's kind of bitchy, but it's undoubtedly good. I saw it, I tried to respond, but apparently I'm faster than my little bunny guy. I like the stun you get on that charge hit, it's really nice. Could be a new game for the kids, Best West. Can you imagine getting Best West kids on? <laughs> they turn out to be absolute gods with ridiculous, massive reaction speeds, just beaming all of us. Send him to bed! Send him to bed, Wes! Send him to bed now! What is this? Can I not, can I not do it? Oh, skeleton key is needed. Boo! They could be savants, dude. Mozart writing symphonies when he's like two. They're just born to play bad business. Little bad business geniuses. I need a cassette. Denied. Is this demo free? It is, dude, yeah. And it's really long at the moment as well, which is kind of sick. Use Tornado to open this door. I don't even know if I've got that. Have I got that? I don't think I've got that. Just casually use Tornado, dude. Use Tornado, open the door. Yeah, the game is cool, dude. Ooh, new weapon. I did not expect it to be this long. I think I might have like, cracked the game by accident. Press on the device wheel? What the fuck's the device wheel? Oh, okay. Then hold right trigger. It's got a parry. Does it take meter? 
I'm confused. I think I've used my parry juice. Yeah, it takes that in the bottom left. And the input is not a button I would ever put on parry. But I'll definitely be changing that shit. I wonder if you can change it in the game. It won't let me mess with the bindings. That's rip. It should let you change everything. I hope they add that, because that's not cool. That is what we call Kinder No Bueno. And that's just... That's just good Espanol. Ow! Can I not charge my punch and do that? Oh, you've got to hold it. My bad. Ooh, it's good. It's got, it's got a serious startup time on it. I don't like that. That's way too long for my kind of parry. Way too long contain. That takes meter, and it's got like a forty frame fucking startup window. <laughs> That's like blocking in Dark Souls too. Are you serious? I get fucking cock blocked by an awning? Suck my dick. Fucking asshole. EP compound. A lack of flexibility in the binding can ruin- Yeah, Sigma, there's no reason for fucking bindings on PC where you can't change everything. This is not a console game. Controllers have like one fucking button for everything and you have to hold buttons to do everything else. PC has 900 million buttons. There's no limit to buttons. I can plug in a fucking piano accordion if I need more buttons. Like, there's never, there's no such thing as like a limit to buttons on PC. It's absurd. And it's literally a console limitation that's bled into PC games and it's fucking stupid. Ow. <laughs> Like, that's what gets me when there's a PC binding. Hold this key. You should never have to hold a key. There's no reason for it. There's like a hundred keys on my keyboard. Some of them aren't great at pressing because there's too much jizz on them and they're practically bound like adhesive, but that doesn't matter. That's my fault. I'll take that. I'll own that. Ah, oh, he's doing his full combo through his friend. Hey, you can do dead or alive combos. <laughs> oh, it's really strong, too. Shit. You thought you got me, didn't you, you slag? Not today, son. <laughs> Dude, I love that jab. I love that you can use frame advantage to just be, Oi, stop, dickhead. I think that's really charming that they've thought enough about that. A lot of games just don't. Oh, that shotgun guy sucks. Really, guy? Really? If you wail on him, you don't do shit. Ooh, he caught me. <laughs> I like that. That makes me laugh. Yeah, did you see the guy that but that beat her? Uh, wasn't there a guy that that beat Dark Souls using spoons? People are crazy. Have we been here? I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have.
Howdy, Jay Gonzo. Welcome, dude. We're playing a game called Fist. It's a demo that's available right now, and it seems like a really cool game. Is this a boss room? Looks like a boss room. Yeah, the grabbing this seems really good. The only problem is it's got some startup, and it, uh, and it can whiff, which it should be able to whiff. I'm going to turn into a schmuck. Three times Bowser bullshit, isn't it? Can I do this? Kind of. <laughs> oh, nice roll. He saw me coming, didn't he? Oh, I missed my damage opportunity. That sucked. Oh, that sucked too. Can you just hit it now? Oh, you can, can't you? It didn't summon people then. That was weird. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! I'm fucked. You need to stay on top of that. I don't really get the checkpoints in this game. Would it be so difficult to let me be near the fight? It's that weird Metroid thing of, oh no, I'm fucking 900 years away from where I want to be for no reason other than just to piss me off running back. I don't really get that. This boss did a lot of damage to. I went from like full life to nothing really quick. Souls has... Souls has just changed things for the worst though, that's the problem. Nothing wrong with taking good mechanics and making them better. There's everything wrong with taking a mechanic that was never good and making it worse. I think you should probably use me to, to do what I just did then. Hang on. Can you fall down it? No, you can't. You need to. Ah, oh, this is mad annoying. This is not a good boss. Oh, I'm dead. Anyway. Yeah, stuff like that, Nemesis, is really frustrating. That's what bugged me about Devil May Cry 5. When Devil May Cry 5 had that really horrendous tower, this is something, like, it was just really stupid for no reason. Like, the start of this, like, if the checkpoint was in the room and I could just fight the fucking boss, but I have to jump all the way in, wait to trigger the shitty cutscene, watch the shitty cutscene, and then fight the shitty boss that kills me in three hits. It's not fun. You designed a boss that's got two fucking things it does, and it sucks. GG. All my excitement is practically evaporated with the like, dog shit tomfoolery of this garbage. Okay. There you go.
Come here, you. I don't know how I didn't take any damage then. I'm glad that I didn't. Oh, that's how I certainly took damage then. You can wait it out, but waiting it out is lame as fuck. This is boring. I want to be aggressive, you know. I don't know if you're the same. I like to attack. I like to go forward. I don't like to hide in a corner and wait for it to end. This is the bed of chaos, lol. Oh, the bed of chaos is just lucky bullshit. That was just a, a boss with three phases and two moves. It didn't make a lot of sense to me personally. Is that the end of the demo though? If it keeps letting me go, there might be something wrong here. I feel like this has to be the end, right? Is that a new weapon? Not a pervert, I'm a tal- There you go. Dude, that was a really long demo. Good for them, having the confidence to let you play that game that long. I feel like the skill tree in that has got so much potential. There could seriously be a, a lot of fun to be had there. With the juggling and the responsiveness and learning how to play and understanding what you're doing. Like, we just beat a whole game just then in a demo. Like, there's games I've played recently that I don't want to play one tenth as long as I've played this. So it just goes to show there's definitely some chops there, and I'm curious to see where it goes with new moves, new weapons, new environments, and hopefully bosses that are better than that. Those other guys we fought, that man with his gun, pretty basic, but I like the idea of being able to stun him and do big combos on him, and, you know, once you know what you're doing, it could get really, really, really cool.